Hi friends, in our last video, uh, we have completed the task development in a static way to handle only one file. In this video, let's extend that package to handle our real-time case scenario, our current task scenario. So in our current task, the changing attributes are date parts in both of these connections. So it should consider the today's date uh, in the con in the connection managers, right? So let's see in this video how to handle this uh, dynamic date part changing. So let's go back to the package design and let's uh, go to variables and create a new variable for date part. And date type is string and expression go to so our format is yyyymmdd right so that is that should be today state so the function that we have to use here is get date you can see that functions in date time functions so get date shows the current date of the system so uh, let's uh, get the year part from this and then let's change that to uh, string type so string type typecast string type dtstr so let's uh, use dt str comma 4 comma and code page is 1 to 5 2 is the default one so and then copy this expression and concatenate that with the month as well so now evaluate so month and date but it is showing month as single digit but i want that as double digit so let's uh, use let's concatenate with uh, zero to the left then check so but when it has uh, three digit i want only one digit right or uh, two digits sorry so in that case let's use write off and two so which gives us two okay now copy this expression to date as well. So to day. day. Now see uh, showing it as we need, right? So now, okay. So it is showing the value as this one. So date part. So we have got that value dynamic part in this variable. Now go back to the connection managers so right click on the connection manager and properties now go to expressions here now change the connection string to so so here so we want that file path right so let's uh, copy our source file path here this one so let's copy our source file here cancel it now go back to the expressions again so in order to get the connection string let's form a variable for connection string as well so have a new variable created and uh, let's make it file path now go to string now in the value let's enter that copy that path so here i want instead of this yyyy format i want this value right so let's go to another variable and take connection string okay now string again now go to expression now change our file path replace of comma wherever we have yyyymmdd i want to replace it as date part so replace file path 
wherever we have y y y y mm dd replace that to date part now so because we don't have any y y y y mm dd format it uh, actually not sub not updating anything but uh, when we receive y y y y mm dd in the fi uh, file path then it uh, updates that value with the, this one so let's uh, change our file path the to yyyy mmdd format yyyy mmdd okay so this is our file actual file path and this is date part changing part of the file path and connection string is the dynamic actual dynamic connection string which is updating the file path with the date part and this is the final connection path right so this is the st static connection this is dynamic changing attribute and this is uh, the final dynamic connection string so and this is for flat file this is for source file connection source file right sf connection string so similarly let's form another connection string for destination connection as well so target path now string again now copy our target path into this location now properties now copy this and paste here so this is showing the target path and this is a fixed path static path now change that to dynamic path target file connection string and string here now go to expressions again now here target path same replace of y y y y m m d d comma um, date part evaluate so so this is our target path and this is for our source file path okay so we got our connection strings so we make our connection string as dynamic so in this approach if uh, so if something fails so i will explain you later a bit more clearly why i uh, followed this approach to make this connection string dynamic we can follow um, other ways as well we cannot directly make this uh, uh, dynamic expression in the connection manager expression instead of having a separate variables for this but uh, there is a reason behind having separate variables it will be uh, it will handle error handling and troubleshooting when we uh, in the future stage okay so let's uh, go back to the expressions now properties source connection now properties now expression now connection string expression variables now source file connection string so point into the current file okay now click ok now same go back to target file path expressions change that to connection string and target file connection evaluate okay now click ok okay now close it now execute again to verify Or something happened to my let's execute again so 
so loaded successfully has been generated right so this is the file it has been generated and the data is showing as per our requirement so 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 then our package is dynamic and So this is how we can make package as dynamic and we can handle the connection managers using expressions and variables. Please comment if you have any questions or like, share, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching my video.